Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? <laughs> Precisely. Enough was enough, and at last Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. Enough. No stories. Not while well on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish You'll later, lad. From this realm too early. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Done here. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Thamur. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly. He caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But the truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Hostiles up ahead! A wolver! A dangerous beast! We will take him down together. Just give the word. I'm ready. I'm not ready.
seek a chisel. The tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Neat trick, lad. Thanks. His idea. Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Enemies! Should we attack? Yeah. 
I'll find light crystal. Wonder what it's for. Look up there! What does it say? To Njord we offer back the seas back. Ah yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that they loved and worshipped him here. Hey! Hard in the world tree staff. That's Andy.
How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother. But I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. <laughs>